Good morning, Joy here. <laughs> Joy with very dry hands. Do you guys put lotion on your hands constantly all day long? Boy, I do. Look what I'm wearing. <laughs> I showed in this next video clip. It is gorgeous. It must be 70 degrees outside and not windy. Oh, we drove over the bridge over the big part of the lake yesterday. Oh, the lake was just as calm as glass. And when we used to have our big boat, it was just a ski boat. It wasn't like a giant boat that, you know, has rooms in it or anything. It's just a ski boat. But um, when the lake was really calm like that, I loved to drive and go as fast as you could. And I'd just go around and around and around. I'd do figure eights in the water. And everybody else would hold on for dear life. I don't like to drive fast in a car, but I love to go fast in a boat. Oh my gosh, when I was a teenager. Isn't it funny the things that pop into your mind when you're talking? When I was a teenager, um, my mom and dad always went on a vacation. They went on a vacation every year and drove their four kids with us with them, drug their four kids with them, and we fought and fussed the whole way there like kids do. But we went to Maine one year. My mother had a relative who lived in Maine, a cousin or an aunt or something. Anyway, we went and stayed at their house and they lived on a lake, right on the lake. And um, it was summertime and they had a little boat uh, with just, you know, had the little motor hooked to the back of it and it was just a little boat and it did have a steering wheel. And so, the uh, teenage girl that lived there, and me being a teenage girl, we were playing together. And I said, can we go in the boat? Can we go in the boat? And um, so we got in the boat, and she was taking me across the lake, and I noticed all these sailboats. And I said, what are all those sailboats? She said, oh, that's a summer camp. That's a bunch of boys for a boys' summer camp. And I said, well, let's go over there. So we drove the boat over there. I don't remember if it was her driving or me driving or what, but I remember we went real fast and we were making waves in the water and these boys were just on these little sailboats. You know, like maybe just one person could be on it or two people could be on it with this one big sail in the middle. And we were making waves and we were knocking over all their sailboats. <laughs> I thought that was so much fun. <laughs> anyway, how did that come to my mind? <laughs> so, I, um... Went out this morning a little late, a little late. I'm telling you what, if you blink, something's, something big's happened over there at that barn. They have a wonderful crew, a wonderful crew. I wish I could get them to move in next door and have them work for me all the time fixing up the things I need to be done. They show up at dawn, at dawn, and they work until five o'clock, and they work wonderful crew so anyway um went out this morning and i have a video that i shot yesterday with there was hardly anything to see and then i went over there today and it was like oh my heavens the barn's almost done <laughs> not quite but while i was over there i decided to go inside jerry's barn and because some of you have said oh dear lord what's in that barn you've already got why do you need another barn <laughs> So I went inside the barn to show you what's in there. I don't know if any of you care, but if you do, this video shows the progress on the new barn, and I take you inside and show you what's inside the other barn, okay? So if you're interested, that's all that's on here. It's really more for Jerry to just have for a memory, but if you'd like to see it, here it is. This is Friday the 28th. Happy birthday, Philly. I'm coming to see what's going on. Guess what's going on? My babies are coming this weekend. Hey, we got a cement truck. We got trucks everywhere. Boy, when Pumpkin Pants gets here, he's gonna go nuts over all these big trucks. Look there. Look there. Wow. The cement's going in big holes to bury the wood in. This is where that's going. Sorry about the noise, guys. gonna go nuts when he gets here. 
Well, if you keep him off of all this equipment, he'll get hurt. No, no, no. You got to get up on the equipment, but you got to be with him. Well, he, he'll be here Saturday, right? He'll be here tomorrow morning. That's what I mean. They're working tomorrow. So. And he won't have a mother, so I will have him. <laughs> yeah. That's what they call the race car driver. So, where'd the cement come from? What town? I don't know, Galicia. Look at all the people working. You love to see it. This is like when we built our house. I'm standing on my front porch now. Here you can see the side of our house. And as you look over toward Jerry's barn, you can see everything that's blocking the view of my house. <laughs> And it's winter time, so there's no leaves on the trees. This is our front yard. And there's the little pond. The little pond. Our nearest neighbor is way up over that hill there. We have 11 acres here. And I got the bird bath started. And so it's running now. We really ought to call it a kitty bath, because this is where our kitties come get a drink all the time. <laughs> I don't know if that first one was on record or not, so just in case it wasn't, this is Saturday, February 29, 2020, and we have a barn going up. We have equipment everywhere. <laughs> Huck and Pants is on his way. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, there's a wall. <laughs> look at that. Let me go wide. Wow. Stuff, stuff. God, I love that dumpster. I need to bring some stuff out and throw it in that dumpster. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at that. That's amazing. How cool. So now you can see how it's going to be. That's one end. That's the other end. Awesome. And we'll be able to see the trees up over the top. Won't that be fun? Awesome. Yeah, you want to see my house? <laughs> it's over there somewhere. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like from here. There's going to be blue on the bottom. Blue. Like this blue. Awesome! Awesome! Somebody said they wanted to see inside the barn. Jerry's working in here. He's not done yet. But he just built that workbench there. He tore out the old one and put up that one with old cabinets we took out of our store. We still own the building, so we still own the cabinets. So this is his shop part. There's the refrigerator. There's the door out into the big part. And there's the potty. God only knows when it was cleaned. <laughs> and here's the sink. And I think I'll take these towels and go wash them. Let's take those and go wash them. <laughs> he is going through all of his old fishing stuff and getting rid of all of his old fishing boxes and only keeping the stuff he uses. Yeah. So this is the part of his barn that's heated and cooled. There's his dirty clothes bag that I don't think he ever puts any dirty clothes in. And then this is the other part that's not heating there and it's a mess. There's my mother's over 100 year old furniture that we thought we would sell immediately after she died and it's still here. So, you want to see how full this is? That's my four wheeler right there. My mule's outside. There's an old lawnmower Jerry fixed up. And here's another workbench. He just built this workbench in here with all of his tools on it. Isn't that nice? This is his all of his fishing equipment he's storing in here. And that's one of the boats over there. That's his new boat that he got for his birthday mm, two, three or four years ago. And there's his tractor, all kinds of stuff he stores in here. Here's a little boat that we used to use at a other house that we had on a little lake and we gave it to Boo Bear and Boo Bear keeps it here. And so there's Jerry's big boat with another dirty rag that I need to go grab. <laughs> so yeah, this is perfectionist number one. 
he hasn't had time to work in here the whole time he was working because he worked 24 7 practically at our stores yeah this is our boat yeah there's my christmas tree oh and that's not all micheline said dear lord what are you keeping that giant thing look up there there's a giant loft and it's full of files actually the company that bought our store those are their boxes now, but they never have come to get them. You have to keep records for seven years after a patient dies. So up there are Christmas trees, old furniture, oh, all kinds of stuff. My goodness, I gotta look down for a minute, guys, to see where I'm going. Look at that. If anybody lives here in Southern Oklahoma and you'd love some beautiful 100-year-old antique furniture, it's gorgeous. And um, brand new, brand new bed was used for 20 days. Brand new mattress and box springs. Used for 20 days before my mom quit using it and went into a hospital bed. Really nice. This is my husband's playroom. This is my husband's man cave. You get upstairs by coming over here in this door. See there? There's the stairs. And you can go upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Bat the cobwebs out of your way while you go. All right, guys, that's the inside of the barn. Look, sleeveless. It's uh, February 29, and the weather is just wonderful. Wonderful weather. Yeah, and you want to see my new, 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 new Walmart pants? <laughs> Look, this is that brand called Time and True. They just came yesterday in the mail. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Oh, these pants, I think they're so cute. Okay, I have to go. Did you see my video from yesterday where you saw me quilting? Quilters, my quilter friends, you wanted to see me quilting, check yesterday's video. And hey, give me thumbs up, give me thumbs up if you want to. And if you're not already my subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Did you know what? I'm the slowest one on the planet to figure out how YouTube works. <laughs> There's this bell. I think the little ding-dong bell shape is next to the subscribe button. And if you click on the bell, like I have clicked on the bell next to Viv's subscribe button, and so every time Viv makes a video, it comes up in my email. Viv has made a new video, Viv Mom. You know, Viv Mom at Viv Mom Sews. <laughs> and um, Becky. And so I clicked on the bell by her subscribe button. So every time she makes a new video, I get this email that says, Becky has no, it'll say, Power Tools with Thread has made a new video. <laughs> and I have a whole bunch of them now. I love that exercise lady. Her name is Shelly. Um, let me see what she called. Fabulous 50s. And then there's another lady, only um, I don't think she has a bell. I haven't thought to subscribe to her because she's just there all the time anyway in my list of videos that I watch. But it's called, what's her name? Leslie Sansone, I think. If you'll search Sansone, S-A-N-S-O-N-E, fabulous walking exercise. Fabulous. I've got Jerry doing it with me. Jerry's super uncoordinated. <laughs> he almost falls over doing it. It's so funny to watch. But anyway, really fun exercise. I try to do it every other day at least, and sometimes every day if I can. So, that's Leslie Sansone. Um, then, you know... Um, Who's a really pretty girl with the long, dark brown hair? Karina. Karina. She lives in Brazil or Chile or someplace down there. <laughs> Let me see. She's called Lifting Pins and Needles. Isn't that cute? And so I did the bell on Lifting Pins and Needles, and I did the bell on Tomcat Stitchery. Boy, Tomcat's flying up the ladder there on subscribers. She works her tail off making videos on showing people how to do stuff. So, hi Whitney. <laughs> anyway, that's all I know for now. I'm going to shut up and I'm getting ready because my baby will be here in about one hour and a half. And so I'm getting ready for tons of baby hugs because his mom is not going to be here till tonight. So, I'm third on the list. I'm actually fourth on the list. When Pumpkin Pants has his papa and his daddy and his mommy and me, First is mommy, then is daddy, then is papa, and then there I am. There's that lady that cuts my hair all the time. <laughs>
But if I can get rid of Papa and I can get rid of Daddy, I can have that baby to myself. Tell his mama gets here tonight. All right, gotta go. Love you guys. Bye for now. <laughs>